Eat your vegetables. That was what our mothers used to tell us when we were little. For some of us, the worst nightmare was eating broccoli, that small miniature tree that was entirely green in color. Now, why is it so important that we eat broccoli in the first place, and is it really healthy? Some experts say that broccoli is spectacular as a source of detoxification for the liver, but others say it's a thyroid killer that slows our metabolism and its function. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal some of the most impressive health benefits and side effects of eating broccoli and how you should take it to benefit from it 100%. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of important quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. Broccoli is a green vegetable that vaguely resembles a miniature tree. It's closely related to cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, and cauliflower, all edible plants collectively referred to as cruciferous vegetables. One of the reasons why our mothers used to tell us and emphasize that we eat our broccoli is that in fact its nutritional value is a powerhouse full of vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. This miniature looking tree has more secrets than what we know so far. So in today's video, I'll reveal some of the most impressive health benefits and side effects of eating broccoli and how you should take it to benefit from it 100%. Number one, it's extremely rich in nutrients. One of broccoli's biggest advantages is its nutrient content. It's loaded with a wide variety of vitamins, minerals, fiber, and other bioactive compounds that really are beneficial for our health. You name it, vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin B9, potassium, phosphorus, selenium, etc. It can be eaten raw or cooked, both perfectly healthy, but obviously provide different nutrient profiles. Depending on the way you prepare it, cooking can alter broccoli's composition, particularly reducing vitamin C content as well as soluble protein and sugars. Now, steaming appears to have the fewest negative effects if you really want to extract all its benefits. Still, raw or cooked broccoli is an excellent source of vitamin C. There's no doubt about that. Now, just a half cup of cooked broccoli provides 84% of what you need of vitamin C in a single day. That's more than half what an orange or a lemon has. If you need a good quality vitamin C formula that comes in real organic fruit and vegetable extracts, unlike synthetic vitamin C that you can find anywhere, Look for Ultra C1000 from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, it helps clean your liver. Broccoli is one of the most effective vegetables you can use to keep your liver healthy. Some studies suggest that this vegetable can protect you from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. What it does is apparently help accelerate the second part of the liver's natural detoxification process, which is very important. Now, even better if you add some celery to the mixture. Celery and broccoli together are just spectacular. You can try to eat it steamed on one side with raw celery on the other, for example. Very healthy. If you need a good quality concentration of the best herb found in nature for this purpose, for cleaning the liver, look for Thistle Essence from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number three, improves your memory and mental health. Many of the nutrients and bioactive compounds found in broccoli have been seen to slow mental decline and support the brain in its natural nervous tissue function. A study of 960 older adults, for example, revealed that only one serving per day of dark leafy green vegetables, like broccoli, helped the human body resist mental decline associated with aging. For example, in one animal study, mice who were treated with camphorol, which is a compound in broccoli, suffered a lower incidence of brain injury even after inducing it in these mice. Another important substance in broccoli had a different positive effect on the brain. Sulforin showed a significant brain recovery and a reduced neural inflammation following a brain injury or toxic exposure. Now, what's impressive about how broccoli works 
is its many compounds and substances that can improve memory and brain function more than we imagine. Those who consume it definitely have an advantage over those who don't. So make sure you eat it or include it in your diet. Number four, improves digestion and constipation. If you really want to stay healthy, you have to keep your digestion in order. The good news is that broccoli, which is a rich source of fiber and antioxidants, supports the healthy bowel function and digestive health we need. Bowel regularity and a strong community of healthy bacteria within your colon are two vital components of digestive health. So eating fiber and antioxidant-rich foods like broccoli help maintain that healthy gut function. One study found that broccoli reduced the level of inflammation in the colon as well as favorable changes that were produced in gut bacteria with broccoli consumption. Another recent human study indicated that people who ate broccoli were able to defecate more easily, meaning no constipation. And the effects are obvious. As a matter of fact, you are healthier if you eat your vegetables, your fruits, and your broccoli. If you need a good quality multi-supplement formula for digestion and constipation that you can use daily, look for Laxi Prune from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number five, it helps control blood sugar. In many occasions, you might have heard how broccoli is a food for diabetics and that diabetics should be including it in their diet. The interesting thing about this is that this vegetable or eating broccoli may support better blood sugar control in people with diabetes. And that has been proven. Now, although the exact mechanism is still no, it's been related that broccoli's antioxidant content may have to do with this effect. One human study showed that there was a significant decrease in insulin resistance in people with type 2 diabetes who consumed broccoli over a course of a month. What's even more impressive is how animal studies have revealed that a decreased blood sugar concentration was followed after the consumption of broccoli even a reduced pancreatic cell damage in diabetic rats. There's no doubt that broccoli is a good source of health for diabetic patients. People have proven this time and time again. Thousands of patients consume it every day for diabetes and it helps, it controls their sugar and helps control their sugar. Number six, when should you not consume broccoli? If you have thyroid problems, more specifically hypothyroidism, you might want to stay away from eating large amounts of brassica vegetables. These include, for example, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, soy, and Brussels sprouts. All these vegetables impact thyroid function, including broccoli, especially because they contain goitrogens, which are molecules that impair thyroid peroxidases. That's the only moment, actually, when I suggest you stay away from broccoli. Remember that. Very important. And how about the channel? Give this a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below. We'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line and point, visit drlandivar.com and check out these other videos related to stopping your vital information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.